For decades now, or even centuries, we've had a constant battle, especially in residential construction. Now we're looking at a battle for space. Now what goes behind the walls stays behind the walls. That is, unless it can't fit in the wall itself. You've got constant fight between ductwork, plumbing, and also you have electrical and also HVAC equipment. So what if there's a better way to get all this in the wall so you have nice clean walls that look nice, perform well, and also where the mechanicals aren't fighting with each other without compromise. The good news, we do have a solution for all these problems. And getting rid of this ductwork, we're gonna replace it with a three or four inch ductwork. Now in the 1920s makeover, um, ATL, we are going to use the RIA comfort system. Um, and what that is going to do is we're gonna have a manifold and basically take large ducts like this, eliminate them, and use small ducts. That way we can get them into more spaces and have a more even comfort. So let's take a look at how the system works. Well, RIA was established by HVAC engineers that were looking at, you know, we've got all this HVAC, it's in the attic, it's in unconditioned spaces. So we need to come up with a better way of doing this. And quite frankly, after interviewing them, I was really surprised that this isn't already a system that's on the market because we already have something very similar for this for plumbing, which is a manifold system. So the fact that we don't have this yet for HVAC is kind of uh, uh, surprising to, to be honest, but I'm glad we have this and I'm going to be exploring this in all of our projects because we have some clients that have very tight spaces to put duct work and a duct like this is not gonna fit where a three or four inch duct is gonna fit and it's gonna look much nicer. So here's a little example of how it actually works. So if you look into the system, you see a bunch of smaller ducts. Now what's nice about this is you don't have to worry about a big duct like this fighting with that PVC and also the electrical. Because typically plumbing goes in first, then HVAC, then the wires kind of meander around. Well, the order of operations still does matter. However, this time the HVAC system, these small ducts aren't pushing other things out of the way. We're not hacking joists. We're not having to do drop down ceilings. Now, if you're in a basement situation or if you have uh, a beam or something, you usually have to bring this duct around that. Well, there's much easier ways of bringing those smaller ducts around a large piece of framing member that's gonna get in your way. So some of the features of the system that I really like, it fits inside two by four walls. Now, why is that important? Well, this does not fit inside a two by four wall. A lot of times we'll get a set of plans from an architect if we're not managing the plans and they've got no consideration for mechanicals. Well, that's okay. We can, we can take their pretty design and we can fit the plumbing, the electrical and the HVAC system in, in, in it now without having to make any compromises. Now this system also works with any air handler. So we don't have to go with the high velocity system we don't have to do anything special. So really the only thing changing if you're using a traditional system is the duct work. Um, you've got home runs all the way from the air handler all the way to the device. And what this means is you don't have places for it to leak. So if you imagine this running all the way from one side to the other, and with this kind of system, every time we make a turn or if we're having to make connections and branch off, we're making cuts in here. We have to seal all those items with mastic, which basically prevents the air from leaking outside the ductwork so it can get all the way to the intended space. Now with this system, it goes all the way from the manifold in the mechanical room to the room where you need it and you don't have any uh, chance of air loss between the, those two systems. Now we spoke about the duct connections. Uh, again, you've got one standard duct size uh, that you use. It usually starts out with a three inch. If you have to, they also have a four inch. Um, all the couplings are the same and they only have 16 SKUs. A SKU is basically a part number. So you're able to basically design this, order the parts. You could probably have this on a pallet or two. Everything is delivered, you install it and it snaps together. So you don't have to know a lot about HVAC duct design. It's already designed for you. You basically take the home runs off the manifold to those particular rooms and use these couplings and it's pretty easy to install. Here's some more examples of the couplings. You can see they do have elbows, you've got straight connections, and also look at these sidewall boots. Uh, they've got nice connections in there. We can connect it to the, the, the framing. It's not gonna move around. You've got ceiling boots, pass-through boots, high sidewall boots, uh, inner and outer manifold takeoffs. It's a very versatile system where you can put it in any part of the wall or ceiling. So let's take a look at the manifold. So you see this uh, installer uh, in the bottom right hand corner, he's essentially using a hole saw cutting into this duckboard. Now you can either use duckboard or you can use sheet metal. They have couplings for both. Uh, many track builders like to use duckboard. If you're looking at more of the high end designs that you do use sheet metal. Now again, the RIA system is applicable in both situations. So you don't have to compromise with one or the other. 
One of my favorite parts of this, and one of the things that I don't like about traditional HVAC ductwork, if you're looking at the boots, the registers, they usually don't look that good. Earlier we saw the plastic boots in the walls. Again, you don't have to worry about condensation on those. Now look at these registers. These are nice modern registers. Uh, look very clean. It kind of blends into the wall. Where a lot of times if you're using a traditional, it's a, it's a stamped piece of metal. It's form fitted. It usually doesn't necessarily go to the wall the way. Uh, these look very modern, uh, very clean, and they look a little bit higher end than typical HVAC register. All right, we've got several images of what the actual registers look like. Now, if you looked at the ceiling in these images, if you turn the lights off, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the register and the recess lights without taking a closer look. They're all very similar in size. You're looking at a three or four inch hole in the ceiling. So those are the round ones on the ceiling. Now check out these ones on the wall. Now, if you look very closely, you, the, you can barely see these. They're the nice uh, slender slits in the walls. You can barely see them and imagine this versus a large register in the wall it gets in the way of the paintings gets in the way of the mirrors gets in the way of furniture so these are very versatile and the fact that you have more per room than just one so if you have a door or if you have a piece of furniture that goes in front of a register well you've got other registers in the room as well so you don't have to worry about blocking all the airflow in one particular room because you have instead of one boot you have three or four boots because you're using a smaller duct and distributing the air more efficiently. Probably one of the neatest things about this particular system is the verification at the end. So you run all the duct work just like the design says you need to and then you go back and test each run. Now if you're not getting the right amount of air it tells there's a, they have an app that tells you exactly how to make the modifications on their system and, and all this is done at the actual register. To make a modification on the system, it either increases or decreases the amount of air that's coming through, and basically all of your ductwork is balanced. Now this is very important for many reasons. If you've seen our, if you've seen our videos about balanced ventilation, it's not only bringing air into the house and exhausting out, but you also want balanced ventilation between the different spaces in the different rooms. So you have a negative pressure, you could potentially bring, bring in contaminants from the outside if you don't have a strong building envelope. Uh, so one of the things that they boast about is that you can have a small delta between the different rooms. Now three degrees is not a huge amount of delta. Now we were building a passive house from the 1920s house. We're going to be using this product in that house. Now I can imagine that the delta between the rooms and a passive house is even going to be less because we're going to have so much insulation from rock wool. We're going to have very little energy loss or energy gain because we're going to have such a large amount of thermal resistance inside the walls and roof and floor. So what do you guys think about the system? Um, I put together a longer uh, presentation with the Q&A. It's on our sister channel. So if you can go click on the right upper, upper right hand corner, you can see that. It's about an hour long, but it goes through each of these slides in more detail. I ask uh, Nigel Watts, who is the product lead product developer for RIA, uh, some, some tough questions about their system because I, was, I had some of my concerns, but it looks like they've thought through those and it's a very good system. So well, even though this is designed for spec builders, it can be used in a custom application. They just decided to design it in the spec world first, and then we're also going to use it on the custom side. So everything we do is custom. So we're going to use this on all of our uh, houses coming up. I'm working with our HVAC designers to, to use this. Now this, uh, again, I usually don't get excited about a product, but I've got projects right now where there is not a lot of room for ductwork. The, the way we had to design the systems, especially if you're dealing with the retrofit, there's not always room for running the ducts through the, the, the ceiling properly, and we definitely want to keep them in conditioned spaces. So the system, the RIA system is designed to be in all conditioned spaces. So you're not going to have it in your attic, you're not going to have it in your crawl space. And that means that you're going to have a more efficient system because of that. If there is any duct, uh, if say, say if there's accidental duct leakage, it leaks back into the house, it doesn't leak to the outside. So again, if you're looking at your HERS score, you're gonna have a higher HERS score because of this. And it's also just gonna be more efficient all the way around. I'm glad that we can finally get rid of this and come up with a better way of running ducts through the house. And I'm also excited to talk about not only a manifold system for duct work, we're also looking at a manifold system for plumbing on the 1920s house. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to this channel. We really appreciate all of the growth that we've had over the last two years and we will continue to create educational videos to show you to show you how you can make your house better. Yeah, that's enough. This duckworth's gotta go.